Okay, hello everyone, welcome to the One Class channel. My name is Andrew and we're currently doing staff and math at University of Toronto. And today we'll be going over some commonly asked math questions at both high school and college levels. If you need some homework help or tutoring, please check out the link in the description below. So now let's start our session for today. Okay, so our first question today is asking us to find zeros of a function. Okay, so let's copy down the question first. So, how to find zeros of a function? Okay, so the zero of a function is the x value that gives y is equal to zero when plugging to the function. So let's write down the keyword. Okay, so it is an x value that gives y is equal to zero when plug into the function okay and uh, graphically it is an intersection of the x-axis in the graph of the functions okay so graphically graphically It is the intersection of the x-axis and graph of the function. Yeah, so those are the basic definition of what zeros are. And uh, we need to notice that different types of functions have different numbers of zeros and a way of finding them. So now let's talk about that. So let's say if it is a linear function. Okay, so these are functions that can be put into the form of y is equal to mx plus b. Okay, so that's like a symbol for linear functions. And they always have graphs that are lines. Okay. And the zero of a linear function is at most one, and it can be found by directly replacing y with zero, and then solving for x. Okay, so let's write that down. So, the zero of a linear functions, linear functions is at most one, and it can be directly. found by replacing y with 0, then solving for x. Okay, yep. so that's how we find zeros if we are given a linear function. Okay, and then if we are given a Quadratic function, let's, run, let's use another color. So, quadratic functions. Okay. 
So these are functions that can be put into the standard form, which is given by fx is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, and um, have graphs, uh, graphs that are called parabola, so parabola, which is something that looks like this or that. Okay, so that's what we call a parabola. And the zeros of the functions can be either 0, 1, or 2, and they are founded when fx is equal to 0. Okay, so 0, 1, 2. And founded when fx is equal to 0. Okay, and the um, method of finding zeros of a quadratic function includes a square root property, factoring and complete the square and the quadratic formula. And among all this method, the quadratic formula is the most useful one. And that is given by x is equal to negative b, positive or negative root b squared minus 4 times a times c, okay? And over 2a. Where a, b, c just comes from our uh, standard form. Okay, and uh, yeah, mm, yeah, so I think that's how we find the zeros for quadratic functions. Okay, so now let's go to the next one. Which are the higher. Order polynomials. Okay, so these are polynomials with degrees greater than two. Okay, so greater degrees greater than two. Okay, and uh, the rational root theorem says that. If a polynomial has a rational root, which is 0 at x, it is one of the factors of the constant term divided by one of the factors of the coefficient of the latent term. Okay, so uh, we don't come across this type of question a lot, so I'll just stop here. And uh, okay, let's do the last one. Exponential and logarithm log functions okay so exponential functions will be in the form of a b to the exponent of x where b is not equal to zero and the function will not have a zero and the graph will never across x-axis so never across x-axis and the things they never cross axis that means there is no zero okay um, yep so in terms of log functions so that are the inverse of exponential functions so inverse of exponential functions okay and uh, if an exponential function has a y-intercept at 0 a then the inverse log function will have an x-intercept 0 at a 0 okay let's write that down so if an exponential Initial functions have a y intercept at zero a, then its inverse. Log functions. 
will have x intercept at a0. Okay. Yeah, so I think that's all we got for this question. Okay, so let's leave a comment there. Solution is correct, well done.